a lot of really good players, they'll practice like 40 to 50% of their speed. That way you can feel what's going on. It, I feel like it's so easy now. Yeah, it's straight, right? Look at the takeaway here. How much better is that? Money. Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Scratch to Scratch, where I go from scratch to scratch golf. And if you are new to this channel, I recently just got a new full swing coach, which is one of the greatest full swing coaches in all of California. And last time we worked on one simple thing, which was getting into impact position. And today we are gonna be continuing a little bit of that, talking about a rotation of the hips. And we are gonna fix my sporadic takeaway to be a little more consistent, a little more repeatable, and a lot more smooth. So. Without wasting time, let's get into it. Kind of hit that shot we hit last time. Yeah. See if that's gotten better. Okay. That was your only homework was to master that, so we'll see. <laughs> let's see. Grip's pretty good too. You getting used to that? Yeah, it's a lot better. I was a little more neutral, which is nice. I came back from my physical therapist and he was like, Thank God you switched because like there's all this entire thing. Oh, really? Up. He's just like badgering. Oh, away. no. <laughs> so it's going to help long term. Yeah. You ever watch Adam Scott grip the club? Uh, no. So he does it. So if you let your arm hang like this. Yeah. To put, put the club in your other hand. Yeah. And then let your arm hang. See, see how the arm hangs or the hand sits like that? Mm -hmm. So you were turning it even more. Yeah. Some people grip the club weak and they go like this. So yeah. really you could go like this and just put the club in your hand. And now the club's in a good spot, and you go like that. Okay, got you, got you. And then you're, then you're in a pretty good spot. Yeah. As natural as we can get things, the better for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the less thinking we can do for you, the better. <laughs> yeah, just treat yeah. me as like a five-year-old right now. <laughs> That's a nice little warm-up. Two All in the right. middle? Yeah, two in the middle. That's a good start. <laughs> You've gotten better. <laughs> it's great. All I think about, I hope. I hope That's all you got to do. The first couple things here is just get, get this mastered. Yeah. So for the impact position, I'm trying to get into it, which is like this. Uh -huh. um, when I'm coming down now, I'm basically like just rotating. Great. Until, okay. Okay. So you put a little pressure on your front foot, and that's yeah. when you start to turn. And you were doing you were doing it okay. You just had your upper body so far forward before, yeah. which was really messing things up. I just need to keep this yeah. level here. Okay. So you know your arms are to be relaxed, right? Yeah. And then you know you're you're trying to do this motion with the forearms and the hands, yeah. right? And then the body is just sh little shift and turn. We put all that together and shouldn't have to think about all that stuff as this gets better and you're doing the drills it, it already looks it looks a lot better um I've done some nice job the last couple days i know when i'm going super fast it's when i kind of lose the the touch in a uh -huh. sense but um so i'm coming here and i'm kind of rotating here yeah and i know like when we're practicing it's like this and then like that uh -huh. but when i'm coming in like this is it how do i so see how the face is a little open right there yeah yeah so so get set back up so this is this is perfect world stuff, right? This yep. is where you want to be. So yeah, you get set. So when you go back, club is pretty much in line. The same, the, the bottom edge here, the leading edge. Yeah. That matches your spine. Okay. okay yep. There or a little bit open to that. Sure. Not too shut to that. Okay. Okay. So from here, when you come back down, you want to be in that same position right here where it matches your spine. If you're there, then you can just open your hips, pivot, and you're going to be in a good spot. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? If you're too open. Okay, which yeah. you, you can get, right? Yep. Then you're gonna have to use your hands more to square it up. Mm, okay. Does that make sense? So yeah. the, the simplest way we can get it, for especially for this shot here, yeah, go ahead and start over again. Yeah. Uh, from, from setup. Oh. Yeah. We get it here. There we get it hinged. We get it right back to here. Now turn your body. Look how square it is. Yeah. Then pivot through. Turn your, turn your finger over. Yeah, good. Great. Gotcha. Yeah. Head was on top of the ball the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. But when I'm in impact, it's like like this, right? Correct. Yeah. And then when I get impact, that's when I 
when does the flip, I guess, happen from here? So it's it's happening it's happening earlier if you're doing it correct. So it's 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 hard to say that it's, is it right right there, right? Yeah. Like as you keep hitting balls, you'll start to feel where that timing is. The key is that where's the face though? Yeah. Do we want the face wide open like that? No. So when you first well. <laughs> couple, the last time I saw her, two times ago, you had a really strong grip and you were taking the strong grip and opening the face like that. Yeah. So you're way out of position. Yeah. So Does kind of just sense? keep it like this. Yeah. Yeah. Start over again. So, and, yeah. Oh, right now to my, uh, my takeaway yep. is like this. Right. So and that was so, because you had that really strong grip for a while though. So now I could just kind of do this. Yeah. So right. We can put a club on your toe line. Yeah. That gives you some reference to where you're at. Okay. So basically... See how it's parallel and kind of on top of there? Yeah. The face matches there. See how the club's slightly higher than your hands? Mm. Good. Now you feel that? So you have to hold the club light enough and also be able to hinge it enough to get to right there. Okay. So before, it was really because your grip was so strong, you were like this, right? Yeah. So you had to do something to get the face into a playable position. So now that you're neutral, yeah, going back. Good. So go to right here. Yeah. Right there. You're good. That's perfect. So I'll show you the, the fall, the, the, the rest of that part of the swing. So you get set up, do the takeaway. Okay, so that was a little inside. You feel where you're at right there? Yeah. Now, as the club hinges, you're gonna hinge right here. So you make a nice L with your left arm in the club. And see how the club shaft is just above and on the inside of this forearm right here? Yes. So this will be more flat. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is perfect plane. Yep. You see that? But the club's basically pointed at the golf ball. Mm -hmm. You see that? So if yep. you get really good at this position, you're building a nice foundation. Okay. That makes sense? So you have a neutral grip now and not like rolling the face open. Yeah. So you can get it into a nice spot where you can just come back and pivot and you're good. I got to practice this because I'm, I've been always like yeah. from here. So you have your golf bag. Yeah. This happens to be the same angle as the golf clubs. I don't know if you noticed that. No, no, no. <laughs> so go get, so get set. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. You may want to be right here. So. See the shaft? Yep, get set up. Nope, okay. Set up to the ball. Yep. So just go back parallel with the bag, and you're good. Oh. You see that? Like this. Yeah, so if oh, you get okay. over here, now you're inside the bag, right? Yeah. So it's just like an awareness thing that you can do. Yeah, it's perfect. And then up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're good. And right up, up. Right above your forearm. And then in. That's great right there. Yep. Yeah, because I wanted to so ask you. You had a training aid right here and didn't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely wanted to ask you about my takeaway because I was like, that looks so funky. But yeah. I didn't want to like ask a billion questions. So people people overdo working on their takeaway. We gotta get it, we gotta get it right and have like there's parameters of where we wanna be. Yeah. And some things you can do. Like Xander does the takeaway drill and he he does it every swing. Yeah. To get his club in the right position. So mm -hmm. um, this is a good way to kind of start on that. So you have the club down on your toe line. That gives you awareness too of the club being pretty much parallel right there. I like the club again lower than your hands. Club oh, head's okay. just a little lower than your hands right there. So now we have a little wrist set. And then yeah, it's working parallel with the bag. So when you hinge it right here, see how it's also parallel with the bag right there? Okay. Yeah, yes, that's nice, yes. right? Yeah, you okay, see that? That's so is this good? You're yeah. never there. You're mostly like here over here. Right? right in between. It's like a 45 degree angle. Yeah, it's perfect. So okay, last thing here. Um, you said this is lower, a little bit lower, but, uh, so when I bring this, is this like that then? Yeah. Or so you want to feel like you're pushing, you're pushing down on your left hand. So yeah, set the club or get set up again. Mm -hmm. So you're pushing down slightly on your left hand. So if I push down, you feel that move? Mm. You feel that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that, what does that do to the club? Go up. Get some leverage and get some hinge, right? Yeah. Okay. So set that up again. Yep. Here we go. Right there. You feel where you're at? Yep. Good. So you could really just, a lot of people learned the golf swing this way before. They just swung to right here. The rest, this is pretty much set. Okay, you turn your shoulder, get your shoulder up. That's a nice golf swing. Ooh, yeah. Okay, you're coming right That's back good. here. How are, we, how are we looking right here? That looks looks pretty good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so it's parallel with that. Face is good. Okay, the next frame, weight's on the left foot. Get a little more weight there. Now start to turn your hip. Good. And we get into here. How are we looking there? That looks, that looks pretty good. Your and my head. Oh, okay, yeah. you're right there. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you rehearse that, you can do that at home, you can do that on the range, you're gonna be in really good shape if those are your fundamentals. Beautiful. Oh my, okay. This is kind of helpful, huh? Yeah, I didn't yeah. even realize now I can, because yeah. I was like, how far I could just, boom. Yeah.
Boom. Okay. So you can then film yourself too and just see how, if you're like somewhat near that line. Okay. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Let me take a practice swing like that. Is that pretty good? Or Yeah. You feel a little hinge there? Yeah. Okay. There is still a little bit of roll, but set up again. Yeah. So again, this is a perfect world. Everybody develops a little different. So see how it's kind of quiet right there? As you push it down, you feel that? Mm -hmm. Do that again. So it's like gradual. There you go. So like this. Yeah, beautiful. And then this. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Now do two more so you you do that, but put it to a nice smooth rhythm so you can feel the timing of that. So it goes up, shift, turn. Good. Goes up, shift a little turn. Good. All right, hit one. Nice and smooth. Nice job. Oh. Okay, that look. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I think it's more repeatable. <laughs> seems a little easier? It seems a little, yeah. Okay. I think there's just, my swing was kind of like, um, <laughs> scattered. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I like the feel of this being a little lower. Okay, good. Because yeah. uh, I could feel the hinge and I'm just basically bringing that hinge up now and then kind of coming down. Good. So it's happening a little faster for me for sure. The hinge part? Yeah. Yeah. So it's set up good. again, I'll show you another little little key. So once you're set, so there's about a foot of wrist hinge in the backswing. Okay. You feel that? Yeah. So do that again. Don't lift your hands, just hinge the club. There you go. You feel that? Yeah. So that happens as you turn and swing. So as you're as you're going, that's also doing that. Do mm -hmm. you feel that? Yeah. So there's a lot, one drill done a lot. You do here, then you turn, make your big full turn, turn your body. There you lift it a little bit, and now you're in a perfect position. And then you just bring it down. Yeah. And basically. But see rotate. how you're fully loaded. So yeah. did you have to do before? Remember, you had strong grip. Get the club behind your hands. Who knows yeah. where it was going? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Usually a little laid off and then it gets to a decent position there. Yeah. Right. So now we take out all of that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Set up again. And just go. Yeah. Good. So what, look at the takeaway. Is the hands lower than the club head? Yeah. We're good. Club and is it, it Yeah. And then look at the awareness. You have the, oh, okay. the bag and your, and your club. So you'd be inside if you're here. Right there. You're good. And then. Oop. Yeah. It just goes up. And then, the club's there. Head's right here. <laughs> look at that. Awesome position, like your hip is clearing. I'm into there, good follow through. Down, yep, now up, hold it. Now you're playing. <laughs> there we go, let's I go. I think you can repeat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have my cameras now, <laughs> to tell me. Great. Okay, so, yeah, this, I think I think I sent you that picture of Rory, he kind of brings it a little like that too. Uh -huh. And I was like, I think I got caught up with this notion of like, things have to be inside out or something. Okay. And so I always brought it Just inside. trying to bring it away in, yeah. But this is kind of the same thing <laughs> going Yeah, on. I mean, you're gonna be slightly on the inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything, again, we're trying to be neutral, not not extreme with anything. Yeah. So this, and then this is. That's beautiful. Be good, and then you bring it up, and then. Yep. Bring it in. Seem a little simpler though, some yeah. of the thoughts. Yeah. Right here and stop. Oh, a little oh, out. Oh, right there and stop. Good. Okay. So this. That's nice. This. <clears throat> that. So that first, that first couple feet, right? Hold the club. As best you can, you want a nice blend and timing of how it gets to right here. Do you see that? Yeah. So if the club head wins, if you're having a race between the club head and your hands, you want the head to win? No. Did you feel how fast that went? That was so I mean, fast. that's sometimes what's happening. So yeah. the better we get at getting it like that, see how set that is? Yeah. I mean, that's why the pro swings look so good because the timing of those positions has been developed. Yeah. Right? Good. Beautiful. Oh, too, a little fast. Yeah, yeah, maybe a little, little bit more right in here. Good. That's good. That was really good. Really good swing there. Oh, huh? oh, my shoulder. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still recovering from therapy. <laughs> All right. Now I just need to get my hands ahead a little bit because I felt that. Well, that's the number one thing you're supposed to be working on. Yes. Yeah, 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 that's yes. for sure. This is all the stuff you wanted. 
Yeah. Okay. So oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you about the hip turn now. Okay. Back to the first thing that we were kind of talking Back about. Back to it. Back to it. So 48 swing thoughts. Yeah. One 40. swing. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing that I've been kind of having a problem was coming out like this. Uh huh. And so doing all that, I'm just kind of like leaning in and I guess this is kind of like, this should never overextend out of this. That should never encroach on the space. You don't want to be getting closer to the ball. Okay. So the, this side is you're pushing into your left side and you're turning your left hip out of the way. Yeah. Does that okay. make sense? Yep. So your weight is definitely going to the left side. Hold it there. Hold your head right there. So just do a backswing. Hold it. Okay. So you're right here. So shift your weight to my hand. There. You feel where you're at? Yeah. Now you're good. Now start pushing back. Yeah. There you go. And then get your head. Yep. Head's right on top. Right there. Good. It's really that subtle. You don't have to overdo it. Yeah. So kind of like so when you out. were when you were doing it before you were over pushing with this part and then my head would follow yeah through. you'd be way in front of it and then you'd flip it coming back yeah that's good like that okay yeah, yeah when it, okay that makes sense let me hit a couple balls <laughs> how was that one that felt good okay still need to kind of open up my hips a little bit more but that yeah, was pretty good golf swing yeah. Yeah, look at impact. Ooh. Like a little high, right? Yeah, a little high. Yeah. But look at the hips. How are the hips looking? Ooh. Weights on the left and turning out of the way. Way opened. It's nice. Yeah, that's uh, good. Let's do it with a nine iron. Okay, cool. A little high meaning the ball or what ball was Ball flight was a little high because your hands were your hands were like even with the ball. Didn't yeah. quite have okay. forward lean, so. That makes sense. Still a good swing. Yeah, I just need to get more ahead. Yeah. I'm yeah. getting, I'm getting a little warm, like just hearing the sound. Uh huh. I'm like, okay, this was on the toe. Yeah, you won't the need tape forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. And I was like, oh, I know where exactly right, where it's. Right hitting. now is really good. I'd yeah. love for you to practice with tape on there. Wow. I need to get a little head more, but pretty much center. How's that? It's good. Nice shot. Yeah. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Just yeah. Keep going. It's funny though. Like now, I'm just like, oh, that's my head's hands were a little. Closer, I just like bring it yeah. up. Then. So the key is have some feedback and awareness during your practice so that you know what's what's going on while you're doing it. Yeah. So. Oh, kind of. Scale yeah. one to 10, how do you think your tempo was on that, that swing? That was so fast. Okay. It was really bad. So take a couple practice swings. Yeah. Work, work that out a little smoother, we're good. Again, and practicing, you would practice at like 60 to 80% tops. Okay. And a, a lot of really good players, they'll practice at like 40 to 50% of their speed. That okay. way you can feel what's going on. Yeah. I realize every time my tempo is that, I will always hit it right there <laughs> like yeah. that. So but Overall swing looks much better. Good, good swing. Right. One more. Love that. It's nice. Very nice there. How'd that one feel? Good. I just need to rotate a little bit more. I got caught and then I chunked okay. it slightly. Yeah, hit a couple more. Love that rhythm right there. Ooh. That's super, super good. It's not bad. Pretty good to center? Uh, a little bit. Yep. Mostly. Well, there you go. I'm, uh, one last question here. No, probably That's not. not the last question. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Next yeah. question is, uh, <laughs> when I'm rotating, uh -huh. um, how much of this rotation am I at impact? Like this much, this much. Uh, that's too much. Like, I mean, you're, you're hitting a nine iron, so your foot's not going to be off the ground yeah. that much. So set up, set up again. So again, just like last time. So if you're in you know, this nice relaxed state here, here, so a little weight on your front foot. Just turn a little bit. Ah, you're going too much. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Very subtle. Ah, right there. That's that's good. Okay. You feel where you're at? Yeah. So set up normal. Show me impact. That's all it is with the nine. Okay. Yeah. So you don't need to be here. You don't need to be here. That's too much. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So just like this. Yeah. This. This. That's good. Chunk that a little bit. 
Oh, your pivot looks good. Your pivot's yeah. a lot better, yeah. Okay. Your face is going back a little bit open. Okay, so set up. Go ahead and hold the club. So you're getting a, still a little bit this way. So the face is just a little bit more open. And mm -hmm. So you're just a, li a little bit too much with this. Okay. Using so. your hands too much. So set up again. So Oops, sorry. The goal is to get it still a little bit more in front of you, a little more square here. Yeah. There it sets. That's all. Now we turn. See how square that is right there? Yeah. Seem, seem a little easier that way? This and then. Yeah, so your face right now, though, is like that. Uh huh. You see your wrist joint? You see your wrist right there? Yeah. Yeah. Let's set up again. There. There, about there, there. Then you'll get the compression back because it's, again, it's just a little bit open and you have to use your hands just a little bit more than you should. Yeah. That was really good. What did you feel there? That was really good. This is more uh, bowed a little bit. Okay. And then just try to keep the club just a little bit more in front of you right here. Like right there is good. Nice. So do you take away again? Just above me. Yep, good, do it again. A little slower. Really good. Yep, do that again. So you're gonna hit this next one. I'll get out of the way, but hinge, hinge or set it just above me. Finish it up and hit it. Nice job. So let's do a few of those. Just try to get your awareness higher for where that takeaway is supposed to be. Nice shot. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> good shot. Okay, so get set. So right above there, good. Yeah, that's good. Excellent. Yeah, it's been, it's definitely changed because like with strong rope, I'm just like. Well, you had, it was so strong. You so had to strong. fan it open. Yeah. Yeah. But now I'm kind of just bringing it and hitting it like that. Okay. So get set. Yep. So take away right here. Hold it. You good? Go ahead. You ready to hit this one? Yeah. All right. Take away just above it and stop. Good. Go. A little balance, but not bad. Good yeah. swing. I mean, even if you hit that shot, you're on the green. Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> we're, we're just trying to get some of these bad shots out of play, get a little bit more consistent so you can go out there and hit more greens and know where it's kind of going. Okay, just, just above and stop. Beautiful. All the way up. Go. Nice job. Let's do a bunch of these, okay? Yeah. The takeaway looks really good. I like the second one. Good, go ahead. How's that? That's, it's, it's such a different feeling, but it's, it, I feel like it's so easy now. And it's straight, right? Yeah, it's always yeah. just straight. Well, there's let, look, at, look at the takeaway here. How much better is that? Yeah, it's crazy. That's my face, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> much better. Yeah. So there, he's going up. On plan, look at it come down. Very neutral. Lower body's getting out of the way. That's nice. There, yeah. up, through. It's yeah. nice. We can look at an old one. Don't, don't make it look. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh god. You see it? Yeah, I don't want to look at it. So either. again, that was because of what though? That was because for a while you were holding it with too strong a grip, meaning you had to roll the face to get it playable. So we can see how different, how different we are before. Inside the hands getting more open. Again, that was caused because his grip was way too strong before. So that's before. This is new. There. Up. Right back down. Playing some golf there. Yeah. All right, let's do a bunch of these. It also just seems like it's um, on the same plane, I guess, when I'm just... Yeah. And it's just like... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just simpler. <laughs> it's just like well, this. Well, think about it, that traveling to the top, right? If it gets behind your hands this way, yeah. it takes longer to get up there, too. If it stays in front of you, it's shorter and easier to do it. Yeah, because you're, the, the, the club's more connected with your body. Yeah, do it right here. Stop. Good. You feel that connection? Perfect. That was great. Balboa's in trouble this afternoon. Oh, man. Let's see if we can Maybe do it. Maybe a new personal best today. <laughs> Let's go. So, yeah, get set. Relax the body, get the tension out of there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of course, you want to hit good shot. There, now smooth to the top and go. Nice job. So I'd like you to play Balboa today with this thought. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can even stop on your takeaway 
today and then turn to the top and go. Okay. Because you'll probably hit them all just like that. I hope so. Then yeah. maybe want to feel like you're trying to hit the ball five yards less. That's a really good feeling for players to okay. feel like instead of maxing it out, just feel like, okay, I'm going to hit it five yards less. Mm. You'll just have a better transition and it, it'll definitely be more repeatable. Okay. So we'll try that on this next one. Okay. So get set. Okay, take away nice and calm and stop right here, right above me. Okay, calm to the top and go. Now that is how you should swing today. Because you'll have adrenaline already, right? Yeah. You're going to be excited, right? Yeah. The camera's on you. You want to perform. Yeah. If you go smooth, you have a much better chance. Okay. Yeah. That was that was really good swing. Let's do it again. Yeah. If you see my videos, I'm, I have a lot of energy. <laughs> a lot of energy. Yes. Always. Yes. We'll take out just a little bit. Just a little After bit. the shot's fine. Yeah. Okay. Take away and hold it. Just leave it there nice and calm. Hold. Okay. Nice and smooth. Go. Oh. So did you feel like, right, you got here perfect. And yeah. then did you, did yeah. you feel that? Yep. Like that was too aggressive on part two. Yeah. Remember, if remember our takeaway or our speed, speed stuff, tempo. Yeah. Fast, slow, slow, fast, right? Yeah, that so was you fast, went, fast, fast, fast. You went perfect takeaway yeah. and then you went fast. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Let's not do that. There, beautiful, beautiful swing. Okay, yeah, go ahead and get set. Relax the arms. There you go, shake it out. Okay, take away right here and hold it. Hold it, okay. Smooth to the top, go. Nice Hold job. To the right. I think that a little bit a open. Little bit. Yeah, a little bit open. I'll get you a new sticker. Take away right here and hold. Slow, okay, slow on the second part. Go. Yeah. Hold to the right. Yeah, hit it on the... A little on the heel? Yeah. Okay, so do a couple practice swings working on your pivot. So when we do that, we just go halfway back. Yep, do it again, it's right here. Okay, put a little pressure on your front foot. Good, now start to turn, start to turn, start to turn. Check the face, see if it's square. Okay. That's all you do. Okay. Make sense? So yep. last one, you hit the heel, probably looks something like that. Yeah. And the ball went over there. Yeah. Okay, easy fix, right? Yeah. Okay, take away right here. That's it, good. Push and pivot. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it, that's really good. So let's hit one that short. It's gonna maybe hit it 50 yards. Okay. Okay. So we'll grip is good, no tension. Okay, just a little half swing and stop and pivot. Oh, oh so yeah, it feels think. hard to go, right? Let me think. Uh. <laughs> you feel that? Yeah. So that's what still needs to be trained, right? Because yeah. the body doesn't know what to do. You feel like you need to go further back yeah. to hit it with your arms or something, right? Yeah. But really when this is trained, it'll just go and do that move. Right, so this is a, a one. It's one of my favorite drills, just to swing halfway back where the club's not. Yep, and then learn how to turn. Really good. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, I got a yank kid. That's not second. You want to rip it up and swing hard, right? <laughs> yeah. So try that again. There, good. That's it. Okay, good. Let's hit one like that. You're doing really good. This looks a lot better. Get the tension out of there. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, that's, right out in that's front. Funny. And hold and pivot. Good job. If you get that function to be that's all it does, that's when golf gets very repeatable. Very, yeah, very because simple. then I just, regardless of how much I swing back, it's always just going to end in the same. Yeah, you can step. go down the range and watch everybody pivot. You'll see. Yeah. You'll see the best players and the ones that are struggling. <laughs> so. Okay, let me try this again. There you go. Beautiful takeaway. Oh, you hit me. There you go. Turn. Nice. Great job. Really nice. Oh, really oh, nice going, swing. Go in. Oh. oh, almost hit it. <laughs> good job. Nice. All right, let's go a little farther on this next one because that one was really good. So farther even like... Yeah, just a little further back again. Yeah, you can do takeaway. Up. Okay. A little to the left. Try. Not the same. Yeah. I'm going to try to do a practice swing again. Great. Really good. Okay. Really good. Let me film a little couple over here. Yeah. How about takeaway awareness? You feel like you got a handle on where that's supposed to be? Yep. Okay. It's right here. Here. Let's do another one there. Money. Come on in. Let's take a look at a couple of those. Nice swing. A few practice sessions, this could be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I think I just need to focus on this takeaway and then 
the the same thing that we were working on the first week, the first day, the, mm -hmm. the rotation on the left or the weight, mm -hmm. and then just keep doing that for <laughs> till I die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's so much different, so much better. Wonderful grip. You've done a really nice job getting out of that. Super strong. Look at the face. See, it's not rolling open right there. Yeah. Much better. I bet you're going back further than you thought, right? Yeah, a lot further. Yeah. So that was, I mean, if you had just mastered this, you're going to have a nice golf swing for life. <laughs> so now we have a little yeah. push on the left side, heads on top, start to turn. It's nice you're wearing that sweatshirt, shows the lines. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that opening up right here. Look at the handle. Look at that. Oh, it, it's so long. Like it takes, yeah, it's good. Look at where the hands are. Yeah. In front of the ball, we have some forward shaft lean, right? Right wrist still has some load in it. Yeah. You see yeah. that? Hips clearing. Look at that. Face square for a long time. Turn it over there if you would like. Yeah, that was a nice motion. I didn't, I didn't go all the way and flip it, but I think we just need to get there. I, I mean, this is a half swing punch yeah. shot. You're trying to train impact. That's a, that's a that's a good feeling okay. right there. That's a really good feeling. And so my head isn't moving. <laughs> your head is. You're doing really really good on your head. So this is the takeaway yeah, stuff. Yeah. So easily just put something in the way there. We did the bag thing, so you can see where parallel is, right? So before the club head was way over here yeah. inside yep. and roll. Now the club's a lot better. See the butt of the club's generally pointed at the golf ball. Mm -hmm. That's fine for right now. It comes down. You're you're in good good position here to start playing some much better golf and more, much more consistent. Yeah. I want you to master this short shot and then get so good at it that like your pitching wedge, whatever it goes, 120, 130, right? That becomes a skill Yeah. that you know how to do. Mm -hmm. So if you go to Mission Bay and you got a bunch of these 120 yard shots, you should hit the green a bunch more times now. Yeah. And maybe you make one mistake and leave it short right or something, but Hopefully your short game's getting better and you can <laughs> do that too. So stay tuned for a short game lesson with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> what uh any questions so far? No, I think that that one I liked all of it. I think I just felt like um for me I flipped the right hand too much. I don't know. Is that or was that a good swing? Uh, I mean for right now I'd say it's pretty good. Okay, yeah, good. It good. wasn't perfect, but it's yeah, pretty yeah. good. I mean you're you're Right knee is popping out over here, getting a little too close to the ball. Yeah. But for where you're at right now, I think you got to master these fundamentals before we really go on to making every shot perfect. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem with me. Okay, yeah. good. Uh, so, like I'm saying, if you get this first part, this stuff dialed in, yeah. like you're gonna play like all your previous rounds are gonna be so different. Yeah, I can imagine. The ball's gonna stay in front of you <laughs> because your rhythm's getting more consistent. Yeah you're gonna hit more consistent longer during the rounds too. And the, and the shot pattern is just gonna be much tighter. Okay, perfect, yeah. perfect. So in, until the next time, uh, for me, I think the two things I'm gonna be working on is the takeaway, just getting this consistent, yeah, and then that. the rotation, or, or like, I don't know, the shift of the weight on my left foot. Let's just, I call it a pivot. Like pivot, like the pivot. The um, motion through the ball, if you get that good, that's what every player needs to get good to have a functional golf swing, in my opinion. Yeah. And then that, that drill you gave me, I think I'm just going to do that forever. The, the mini sure. one, and then just feel the impact position one. Yeah. yeah. But what do, you, what do pros do before every shot? Do you watch them? Uh, they just, do know. they just take full swing practice swings or do they take they like take smaller half. version practice swings? Always smaller. But basically, yeah. I'll just explain it. But in the Barry Club, before they hit each shot, they grab the club and they, they rehearse the feel that they want to have at impact. So I think Rory's hitting on, it might be hole 11 at Augusta. I, I can't really tell what hole he's playing. Yeah. But there's water left. Yeah. Okay. So is he going to do like a swing that has extra rotation or like a high draw feel on that? He's probably doing something that makes him feel like he's going to hit a cut shot into yeah. that green. So it doesn't go to the left. Yeah. But you're always trying to feel what you're going to do right before you go to hit your shot. So gotcha, that's something gotcha. to do. That little feel is the same thing that we're doing as a drill. Mm. So they had to do, they did that drill too. They understand what that mechanics feel like through there and then yeah. you're good awesome yeah so if you get in trouble you always go back to this and then you're should be hitting it much better okay so. perfect man Any questions no man yeah let's do it good? boom okay. boom all right ladies and gentlemen that is a wrap for this episode if you enjoyed and learned something like me 
definitely smash that like button. Every single like that you guys give helps so much with the algorithm. And one thing that I just want to emphasize is if your shots are going left and right and you feel like you just forgot everything you everything you've ever learned, definitely rewatch this video because Chris provided a lot of simple yet effective tips to kind of think about uh, that I'm definitely going to bring back uh, when I'm practicing at the range. And so with that, stay tuned, subscribe, follow the journey. And if you want to watch more, click this video right here. Let's go. See you over there.